Well, hello again, everybody, and in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at these acrylic stamps by Jane Davenport, and I'm also giving them away along with a few other things, and this is just another video in my Jane Davenport series that I'm doing, so keep watching. All right, so first of all, let's address that I have blue hands again. No, this is not the same blue from previous videos, and yes, I do wash my hands. Okay, so the giveaway, one of the things in the giveaway is this set of stamps. And so we are going to be taking a look at how you can use these. And for those of you who want to know how to enter the giveaway, and you don't already know, just keep watching, and I'm going to let you know later on in the video. Also in the giveaway is some washi tape and brand new palette of watercolors, the Brights from Jane Davenport, which are awesome. Check out my other videos to see about those. Uh, what else? Oh, and I think I have an idea of some other things I want to include in there, but I'm not sure yet. So there may be some other things. And I am looking for my rubber band and I cannot find it. Oh, well, here it is, found it. Okay, many of you are thinking, as I was actually, thinking, first of all, I, know how to draw faces, and so why would I want to buy a stamp that has a face, different sets of eyes, different sets of noses, different mouths? Or uh, you're thinking, well, I actually want to learn how to draw by hand. I don't know how to draw, but I want to learn, so these stamps won't help me because you just stamp it on. Let me tell you why you're wrong and why I was also wrong. I have been playing with these. I've got my own set. So this is your set. This is my st set. So today we are going to take a look at the different sets of eyes. So what I've done is I have used, well, this one is the exception. So one set of eyes and then I kind of change around the noses and the mouths. Okay. Then on the next page, I do the other set of eyes and I go through the lips and then I add in a few different noses that might work in there. Oh, and then I missed a page. And then I have another set of eyes, did the same thing. And then I have another set of eyes, did the same thing. So you get an idea of the different kinds of eyes here. This one's closed. Um, because looking at the stamps, you don't get a really good idea. I mean, it sh kind of shows on here, but really you don't see what it is. So this video is about showing you how this works. One thing you can do is stamp it out and then go in with your pencil crayons, whatever media you want to use wax pastels, watercolors, mermaid markers, whatever. But what I want you to do as you go through these stamps, as you stamp them, which faces speak to you? So I'm just gonna kind of go through, I, I stamped these out before the video, it's a lot easier, but I am gonna just go over it with you a little bit. So she has a set of eyebrows on here. You can see that right there. So what you do with all of the sets of eyes is you put it right underneath, just line it up under the eyebrows. And then you line up the nose, basically touching that. So I have this on my incredibly dirty uh, acrylic mount. And then you do the nose underneath that. So we know that the nose is about halfway between the eyes and the lip. And then you're just going to take this and you're going to kind of tuck it in right by the chin there. So let me just zoom in even more so that you can really see here. So you tuck the lips here and then the nose is between that and then the eyes are right underneath the eyebrows here. So she has it worked out really well. The other thing that I love about her faces, her face stamp, is that it comes down here, it comes this ridge along the face, comes down lower so that the lips will be stamped. And as you can see, this doesn't show. This bottom part, the outline of the face, doesn't show in any of these. And so you're asking, well, why is that? Well, because with the different lips and the different, you know, options you have to choose from, you would fill that in a little bit differently. Okay, I'm going to zoom out so you can see better again. And the other thing is, if you don't want to use this and you just want to use this as a stamp. Let's just do that quickly. Okay. 
then now you have a perfect outline of a face and you can work within this outline. Oh, I am not paying attention to the frame. Sorry guys. So you can, you can work within this frame, but as soon as you put lips down there, then this kind of gets erased so that you can work around the lips. And in this case, you work around the face shape. Okay, does that make sense? I hope that does. But anyways, that is, seriously, I mean, Jane thinks of everything. Like, that is such a good idea to have this come down lower so that you don't need to feel constricted and you don't need to, you can make the chin however work around these lips. That's how the stamp works. I wanted to tell you a little bit about that because I was doing, I was doing the stamping off of camera and... Once I learn how to control my monitor, which you think I would know by now because I've had it for a few years, or how to control my camera on my iPad, that would be great. Okay, so I want to look, take a look at what appeals to me and, and what actually I don't like. So this is the exercise that we're kind of going through and that I want you to go through when you use these stamps. So these stamps are about, oh, I don't remember how much they are, but... Um, I got them at Michael's for 40% off. That's probably why I don't remember how much they are. But honestly, I think they're like around $8.99. I don't think they're very expensive at all. And that's regular price. Canadian. So I really like this. I find myself, every time I stamp with this set of lips, I find myself really being drawn to that face, okay? One set I really don't like is this one. So we won't put a star by that. We'll just kind of put a X. <laughs> That seems cruel, doesn't it? Okay, so I like these eyes, but I don't like them. So, so what does this tell me? This tells me that I like these eyes, but I don't like them with a smile, and I like them with more of a somber kind of mouth. So this one we're gonna ignore because that's on the other page. And really, with these eyes, I think the only one I really like is this one. And you can do different things, of course, if you're, if you are stamping or drawing, you can kind of work and change them a little bit and adapt them. So it's not like, oh, well, I'm never gonna stamp that face. Okay, but look at how many different faces I've made. So one, two, three, four, five, I can make another. And, and this isn't even all the, diff all the options you have because I didn't even use all the nose options with all the mouth options, with all the eyes options. Okay, so with this one, I don't love these. These eyes look surprised. So you want to, what you want to do is you want to evaluate what you're seeing and what you're drawn to. Okay. And for me, hair also makes a difference. So, you know, if that helps, as soon as you draw some hair in there, it kind of changes the look and maybe helps a little bit. But in general, these eyes look surprised. Again, I don't like this. I don't like, I don't, I don't like that. Um, one thing you could do to change these eyes is to just bring this down a little bit and then they won't look so surprised. And that is a really good way to start drawing faces is to see what you don't like and, and then change it a little bit. So if you don't like this lip, um, then you can kind of draw it coming down a little bit. And I'm using black just so you can see better. But you can you can change things. You can make things bigger. You can bring the eyelid down, put more eyelashes on, um, and that can help a lot. And then just just working within the eyes and everything just helps your brain, like in a subconscious way, will help your brain start to process eyes and nose and mouth and drawing them even before you've actually drawn a face from scratch, your brain will start learning. I hope that makes some sense. But we all kind of have something that we're drawn to and something that we're just like, oh, I don't like that, what's wrong with it? Um, here's, a, these, these eyes are much more detailed. So again, I like this one, I like this one, and there's different noses. So this nose, you can tell these nose are softer than this nose, right? And I actually don't mind it with this one, especially if we were to give her like some curly hair, she'd be really cute. She just looks like she should have curly hair, right? Don't you think? See, already that she, she looks a lot cuter. Like, hello, she's cute. Okay, um, I like this one. So, so don't, don't discount them. 
um, even though you say you you know even though you're looking through and saying what you don't like that's just to kind of help you figure out your style there are so many different things that you can do within the whimsical face genre <laughs> if you will try putting some hair on if you don't like it try putting some hair on and see oh all of a sudden you like it okay and even like that just spoke to me and it was like she needs curly hair I don't know why to me she needed curly hair okay so with these ones here with the close eye I like all of them I don't really it's not that I don't like this one it's that it doesn't make I it doesn't make sense to me like she's I guess you could say she's dreaming in her sleep. So if you wanted to do a specific um, journaling page or whatever, dreaming, that would be a good one. Dreaming, there you go. So just stamping these gives you such inspiration for um, different directions you can go in your art journaling or a piece, a mixed media piece or anything. You know, right now I have a dreaming piece. I don't like that face, but guess what? That's the first one that I've come up with the piece for. <laughs> so this one to me looks most sur most serene so again I'm drawn to these lips these lips are I guess everything to me so you can you can do this yourself and just kind of go through and really kind of critique what you like and what you don't like and then you would bring that same thinking over to a face that you are drawing from scratch uh, for me the biggest thing is drawing in this whimsical style which I've never done before and figuring out um, because what I want to do is figure out how to take my style that I already do and kind of blend it together in a whimsical way um, because my style of face that I'm used to drawing just doesn't work on top of like these collage papers and stuff for me it just doesn't make sense and so I feel like I need to go a little bit more whimsical when I do that style of art so that's kind of what I'm using these stamps for when I do my more fine art paintings I am trying to be more realistic and definitely not whimsical. I hope that helps you some and I hope at the very least it, it um, makes you excited for these stamps because they give you so many options and for those of you who don't care about ever learning how to draw a face, I mean look at what you can do. So I've got 24 faces here and that's not even all that is available because I didn't use all the noses with all the combos. So to enter the giveaway you are going to need to watch each video in this Jane Davenport series. Um, they're not all uploaded yet, so you need to come back and check. Click that little notification bell. That will help you to not miss any. But I also am going to have them in the in all-in-one playlist, so check back to that playlist. They'll all be in there. And so you'll need to watch each one of those. You'll need to comment on each one of those, and you'll need to like each one of those. And some of you may be saying, well, what if I don't actually like the video? Well, you can give it a thumbs down if you want, and just let me know why you're giving it a thumbs down. Like, um, maybe you didn't like that I used blue ink on my stamp. I don't know, whatever, but you get the point. So that is how you enter the giveaway, and have a good day.